hey what's up guys thank you so much for tuning to my youtube channel i really appreciate you guys taking your time and watching my videos so if you haven't subscribed do yourself a favor go and click on the subscribe button below so that you get notifications when i upload videos so welcome back to another tech tip which is episode two so in today's tech tip i'm gonna be showing you guys something called hp workwise so what's hp workwise it's an application created and developed by hp for you to monitor and administer your laptop activities using your mobile device and that only happens while your device is locked so what i'm what am i saying in general what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna connect my phone to my notebook using bluetooth and then i'm gonna let the application do the administration so what's gonna happen is i'm gonna do a quick demo so maybe probably before i do that uh so the application runs on the phone and also you can load it on android unfortunately it's no longer available on ios i don't know what happened but it used to be available on the ios but all of a sudden they removed it it's not even there on the app store i don't know what happened but maybe there's, maybe there's a feud between hp and apple i don't know but anyway we have an android device that we're gonna use to test this so for the first test what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys what's on the dashboard and then i'm gonna show you guys how it locks and i'm going to show you guys the tempers and the alerts so let's start with the dashboard so on the dashboard what you actually find you will put so first thing on the dashboard what you're going to find it's going to show you the last time that your computer was connected to this mobile application so that it's going to show you what time and the date the time and the date so it's going to show you the battery the battery as in how much of a battery is available on your notebook and then at the moment mine has like 10 percent and then the next thing is going to show you the temperature it's very much important to know the temperature on your computer then you're able to tell if whether it's slowing down because of the temperature or it's overheating or something so mine is currently sitting on 36 degrees Celsius, which is well much better and then the memory it's also going to show you the memory usage which goes up and down based on what you're actually doing on your computer at that point in time if i can play a video right now the memory usage is gonna go up and then if i stop it the memory usage will actually go down and the last thing on the dashboard that you can see it's what you call uh, pc information so pc information is basically about the system the storage as well as the product so on the system you find things like the computer name so whatever computer name you give this computer is going to appear under the system and then the operating system definitely the os that's running here uh on my case it's microsoft windows 10 professional which is 64 bit and then it's running intel core i5 uh, 7200 cpu which is the seventh generation super fast and then it has 8 gig memory uh, which is running at 2133 megahertz super fast machine and then it has uh, Intel HD graphics, which is uh, 620 and then the storage it will show you the total capacity versus what's available So on my case it has on the C drive. It has uh, 355 gigabytes of 447. So it, I have like 355 gigs available on a C drive of on the total of 447 and then on the additional drive which is a recovery image which is D drive, I have like two gigs available of 17. I actually don't use that D drive. And then on the product information, it will show you the name of the product. This is the manufacturer's name of the product. So it's an HP Elite Book 840 G4. So HP Workwise only works on the HP products which are fourth generation. So anything before that is not gonna work. I know you're able to download the HP Workwise application from their website, but you're not going to be able to load it and run it so you need the latest generation so for those of you who just you know you finished your metric you got your results and then you're still looking on going to varsity college wherever you're going and you know somewhere somewhere you're going to need a laptop so if this application works well for you i'll say take my advice right now make sure that you get any hp generation 4 notebook which comes with hp workwise and you just load this application on your phone and then you'll be able to do everything that, I can, that I've shown you and what I'm going to show you. And another thing under the product, you're, gonna, you're able to see the serial number. So on your machine, you're able to see the serial number as well as on the application. And then in case somebody has similar machine with you, you will be able to identify yours because you have registered your device with the, with the notebook. And another thing is if you have the latest uh, HP printers, which we call HP Advantage, you know, one of the smart printers that HP has introduced, which uh, which support e-printing, which is wireless printing, you will be able to connect the printer without having to, to plug the printer physically. You just have to switch on the printer and then the printer will actually broadcast to your smart device and then 
it will come with the QR code that you can scan and then once you have, you have scanned automatically it will connect that printer to your, to, to your laptop and you'll be able to print from there okay so for the second part of it I'm gonna show you what happens when you walk away from the computer so at the moment uh, I'm gonna go and sit over there and then this computer should lock automatically and then I'm gonna come back with my phone and then the moment I put my phone here this PC should unlock automatically so let's do that Okay, so I'm back. So you saw the PC actually locked automatically without me having to do anything. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to wait for it to unlock. You have seen it, it is unlocked. So I'm going to throw the phone there out by itself and then it will be sitting there. And then this PC should lock and then when I go and pick it up and then she should unlock automatically. So without any further ado, I throw the phone over there. So it should lock automatically. The, the laptop should lock automatically without me doing anything. And then I'll go and pick up the phone and bring it here, and then the PC should unlock automatically. So that's it. It is locking. There we go. So the PC is locked. So I'm gonna bring it closer here. So again, I just put my phone down here, and then this PC should unlock automatically. So that's pretty much what it is. So the last thing that I want to show you guys so i'm gonna i'm gonna go i'm gonna throw the phone away again and then it should lock and everything that i'm gonna be doing here is gonna be recording and then showing you how it's like when i plug in a usb device and then when i remove the power close the lid open the lid it should be able to show you that uh those alerts so i'm gonna throw my phone away again so there is it So I'm just waiting for it to lock again. So there we go, it's locking. So then the phone there will be recording everything that I'll be doing. For example, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close the lid. So then that's the first alert that goes to the phone. And then the second alert that it went through it, the, the, the display has went off, so it also sent an alert. So when I open it, two alerts will be sent again. First alert will be, uh, the lid was open and then the display was on and then the next thing is I'm gonna unplug the power so let's say for example you stepped away somebody steals your power they quickly want to charge their laptop while you're away you'll get an alert that your laptop has been unplugged and at the same time you're able to check on your on your dashboard to actually see the how much battery is still available and then you will be able to see that well which means it was not charging during this period in time and then if I plug it back again it will send another alert to say the power has been plugged in and then if I plug in uh, a USB device, it can be your external drive, it can be your flash disk, it can be any USB peripheral, it will send an alert to say a USB device has been plugged in and then if I remove it, it will still send another alert. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and remove it and then another alert will be sent to the phone, then I will know that something was unplugged. So quickly I'm going to go and pick up the phone and bring it here and then this laptop should unlock automatically. So, I'm back and then at the moment showing that there were like eight uh, temper locks that happened while the phone was away or while the user was away. So, there we go, the laptop automatically unlocks itself. So, I don't know if this is something that you guys are interested in. So, if you are still new, you don't know which computer to buy, which laptop to buy, I will say, Go for the fourth generation of the latest HP notebooks and they come in up they come up with this feature which I believe it can be very very helpful to you and you're able to see what's happening on a laptop for example the good thing that I saw is the temperature it's very much important to know the temperature on your machine it's very much important to know the available battery as much as you will be away from your laptop for that period of time let's say you're on lunch or you're away from your laptop whatever you're doing it can be at home or anywhere but you want to use it in a place where by maybe on bed or on the table where by there's no power plug next to it you're able to know and plan in advance so for me it's something that you can rely on i don't know what you guys think so let me know what you think on the comment section below and 
I'll be waiting to hear from you guys. So thank you so much for tuning in and I really appreciate you guys taking your time and watching my video. And I'll see you guys on the next tip next week. Thank you so much. Bye.